Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial from Garden of Designs. Today we have a gift for you and it's a free raccoon Ranian. This is the first from the new collection and you can have it for free. Just go to the link below this video and get one for yourself and let me show you how you make him. We start by preparing the fabrics that we are going to use. After this, we are going to put some tear away stabilizer in our hoop and load the design onto the machine. And the first step is uh, to make the ears. Here you can see it does the contour on the stabilizer so you know where to put your fabric. And after you place the fabric, it will stitch it down so it stays in place. And then it will do a placement stitch for the applique for the ears. Here you can see that placing stitch. And then we will add some fabric over it and stitch it down. Just like you do with uh, any normal applique. Here we used, uh, first we used Minky and uh, applique we use, for the applique we used um, Polar Fleece. Okay, so this is done. And now we take it out of the hoop and we cut around the applique part, only the yellow fabric. And when it's done, we return the hoop to the machine and it will do a setting stitch around the edges of the inner ear. You can use cotton or any kind of fabric or scraps that you have on hand for this part. And here is the machine that's been sped up so it goes faster and we can go on to showing you how we did the next steps. We prepared another piece of minky that we will lay on top of this uh, facing down after uh, the satin stitches are done. Oh, here you can see the machine. It's making tiny little marks. These are used for uh, when you fold the ears. You will see this step uh, later. And here you can see we added the back and we used some uh, painter's tape to hold it in place while the machine stitches the last step of the ears. And then all we have to do is uh, take the design out from the hoop and uh, with uh, our scissors cut around it and flip it inside out. Now you can see this. So we cut uh, close to the stitches but be careful not to actually cut the stitches. And then we flip it inside out. Don't forget to remove the stabilizer from it. And here you can see how we fold the ears. So we fold them where that, that sign is. And we stitch them with the sewing machine. You can stitch them by hand if you don't have a sewing machine. And for the next step, uh, we are going to make the little feet. You can see now the machine is doing uh, two circles on the stabilizer and here is where we will place uh, the minky fabric for the feet. Next it uh, stitches the fabric to the um, stabilizer and then it will stitch the placement for the applique. Again you can use um, cotton or uh, polar fleece or um, soft felt or whatever fabric you want for this applique. We choose 
we chose to use um, cotton some very cute cotton print so now it does the paws and here you can see our fabric isn't it pretty we love using floral fabrics and here you can see it uh, tended to move so uh, we added some uh, painters tape so it stays in place and now you can see the same for the second feet second foot sorry <laughs> my english uh, is not the best Okay, so now this is done, we take it out and uh, we cut around the applique part. So this is the 5 by 7 so for the um, other sizes it will be easier to cut around the applique. This is the smallest one, we wanted to do this just to show you that uh, it is uh, doable and uh, you can make one yourself using your hoop even if it's just a 5 by 7 small hoop here you can see we return the hoop to the machine and it does the satin stitches around the paws we use some light yellow to go with this fabric And because we use the light yellow for the ears, it uh, ties together so nicely. And now we wait for the machine to um, do that satin stitch all around both of the paws. And then all we have to do is add the fabric for the back. So the same minky, just place the facing down, add some painter's tape to keep it in place and then stitch the final step, the final contour. And now we take it out, we cut around the legs, the feet, and this is it. Remove the stabilizer and turn them inside out. Use your finger or something that's not sharp, like a pencil, you can use so all that being done all we have to do is make the body for the raccoon here we make the contour on the stabilizer so you know where to place your fabric and then we add some minky facing up and it will stitch in place all around And now it starts with the appliques. First it does the contour for the eyes. Then we lay some um, fabric for the eyes. We chose this uh, white minky for the spots around the eyes. And after it stitches it down, we will cut around it and go on doing the same thing over and over again until we finish all the appliques.
and that's the final cutting for the appliques. Now we have to add some water soluble film on top of it so the embroidery does not sink into the fabric. We use some painter's tape to keep it in place. And then we return the hoop to the machine and start the embroidery for the face and other details. Enjoy some speed embroidery! After it's done, you will remove the water-soluble stabilizer and go on stitching the placing stitches for the ears. So now you have a sign to where you need to put the ears. You have to place them with the fold towards the middle. Use some painter's tape to hold them in place while stitching. Return the hoop to the machine and stitch the ears in place. When this is done, remove the tape and you can go on adding the back, uh, the fabric for the back of this toy. Again, painter's tape to hold, in, hold it in place and do the final contour. You notice we did not put the legs in right now, we will hand stitch them at the end. So here we cut around the body of the toy. Very close, but very careful. Leave a little tail at the end. Remove the stabilizer and turn the toy inside out. See, we used our finger to push it inside out. And here it is. Now all we have to do is uh, stuff the legs and stuff the body. I keep saying legs, they're not legs, they're feet. <laughs> So here is the second one and we need to sew it shut and then add it to the body. And now we stuff the body of the toy. If you have any questions, please comment below and ask anything about these designs or other designs of ours. We are here to help you and uh, we are answering all of your comments. So here it is. Uh, and now uh, we are showing you how to stitch it. We use a leather stitch. So stitch on top, stitch uh, on the other side and then back up and then on the other side and keep going until you reach the end and this will be an invisible stitch you may see different hands in this tutorial we all collaborated for this so Now that the body is stitched uh, close, we use the same stitch for the little feet. So 
So first we close the opening that we use to stuff the little feet. The same stitches. And you're all done. As you can see, it's just a little hand stitch and uh, your project is almost ready. And now to attach the little feet to the body, we put it in place and start stitching all around. So one stitch in the feet, uh, in the foot, one stitch on the body, one on the foot, one on the body. So it attaches with the same invisible stitch. And you go all around so it stays in place and it looks so so nice and you will have the cutest toy ever. You can make more, you can make uh, larger designs and uh, you can make a family of raccoons. And here it is all ready and done and I took him for a walk on the lavender field. That was it for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye!